For this kit you will need a multi-purpose crimping tool, a pair of safety glasses, some pliers, a number one Phillips head screwdriver, a soldering pencil with some lead free solder, and wire strippers are optional. To bend the bug you will need a heat source. You could either use a strip heater, a blow dryer, a heat gun, or even just running hot water over the bug. A list of the components can be found on the Catch the Bug Body Build Sheet, found on teachergeek.com. Components and free documents for this activity are available at teachergeek.com. I'm going to use a heat strip to bend the bug. Place the bug so the heat is concentrated on this area here. You can check your bug to see if the plastic is hot enough to bend. If it's not, just set it back down on the strip heater and wait a little bit. Once your bug is hot enough and you can bend the wings, bend them so they're about 15 degrees, and then go and do the same thing to the other side. You only want to heat your bug enough so it's slightly flexible, you don't want to melt the plastic. Now that your wings are bent, you want to bend the tail. Place it so the heat is concentrated right here. Once the plastic is hot enough, bend the tail 15 degrees downwards and you have your bug formed. Attach the battery holder using the small screws. Place them through the holes shown on the diagram. For attaching the switch, you will use the longer screws. Grab your switch and then set it on the bug. Take your screw and screw down the switch. Now don't screw it in all the way until you get the other screw started and then you can go ahead and tighten them down. Once you've installed one switch, go ahead and do the other side. Take your tire material and cut two pieces that are about a quarter of an inch long, which is about seven millimeters. Now that you cut your tire material, let's put it on the motor. You can either start putting it on by hand or you can just set it on the table and push the motor down into it. The tire material should extend slightly past the end of the motor shaft. Grab the motor with the tire material on it. Place it into the bug so that the copper terminals are facing out and push it in. It's going to be a little tough, but just wiggle around the motor and eventually you'll get it. Take both of your feeler wire and mark them at 1 inch. With your pliers, grab onto the feeler wire. Make sure your pliers are at your mark, and then you can bend over the feeler wire. Use your pliers to make any adjustments you think are necessary so that the piece looks straight. On page 6 of your instructions, you can use the template to bend your feeler wire. Grab the feeler wire as shown in the picture. Place the pliers onto the template and bend the feeler wire to the contour of your template. Take the blue bug tubing provided and cut two 1 inch sections, which is about 2.5 centimeters. Slide a piece of the blue tubing onto the switch lever. Grab one of your feelers and slide it into the blue tubing. If it's a little tough to push, you can just go and grab a pair of pliers and easily push it down the rest of the way. Now that you've completed the body build, you can move on to the optional electronics lab, or you can just go ahead and move on to the final wiring.